Hello, this is ELB. Let's get back to work. So last time we got some simple, uh, what would you call it? Just pushing? No, I had a word for it. Not stun. This. That. That push. That was odd. How was I hitting him still? Hold on. Shouldn't have been hitting him. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Why was I hitting that guy? Who knows? There we go. I'm gonna see this guy getting hurt by an arrow. Ho ho! Oh. Get out of here. Okay. Anyhow, sorry about that. That was just fun messing around. So, we've got our basic push. We also need to get a stun lock working, which I'm not totally sure how to do quite yet. Um... There could be something like every enemy having a default stun state, and not all enemies can even go into it. Not all enemies can even be pushed back. It would really depend. Um. Not sure what I want to do next. I think I did. No stun, no damage. Uh, I also need to do no push. There we go. Whether or not the player can be pushed. Actually, now that I think about it, there was a bug that we ran into that I completely forgot about.
it was simply... I'm not sure if it was when I was punching into the ocean. It was... Okay, it looks like no aiming is currently set at negative one. I'll write down everything that got messed up. No aiming. No? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Am I... Am I good? Can I attack still? Can I dodge still? Can I get hurt still? Can I access stuff still? Yeah? Huh. It's only when I punch into the water. No, not that time. Huh. That's definitely odd. So it only has to do with, with when I'm entering the water. Well... First thing I need to do is this. Did I add disallow stun already to this? No, I didn't. No stun, no damage, no push. Okay, this is going to take a little bit. was no damaging, right? No damage.
this disallow push, right? I'm doing these all in different orders. Completely unrelated to this, since I feel bad not saying anything. Earlier today, I... Well, I basically stayed up most of the night last night watching all the way through the fourth season of BoJack Horseman. It's a very weird show if... Well, not a weird show, it's... It is a weird show, if you've never seen it. Uh, it's got some good humor, but it's also got a lot of drama. I, well... See, I would characterize it sort of as a comedy slash tragedy, because it's about a character who is insanely self-destructive, and it's not just played off in, like, a goofy way. I mean, it is used for laughs, but he is seriously damaged. I mean, the whole point of it is that he's trying to fix himself, and he sucks at that. It's also about how the people around him keep getting hurt because he's near them and how he's just bad news in general but what makes what made this particular season interesting was how it dealt with the failing mental health of his mother as in Bojack Horseman's mother because she has dementia and Bojack hates his mother and the, the 11th of the 12th ep of the 12 episodes was It took place entirely from his mother's perspective, telling the story of her life. But it was framed within her dementia. So there was a lot of jumping around and characters didn't have faces and she couldn't remember who people were. And roles kept on switching and it was very, very interesting to watch. Because you weren't really sure if she was imagining these things or what was going on in her head it was interesting also I, I guess give me just a moment I need to pause recording okay I am back took a little bit longer than I expected so, let's see, we got these in here in the template. I now need to add them to all of these. So, I'm pretty sure for most attacks, we're gonna have those three always being false. Like, there might be one or two attacks, well, probably more than one or two, but, you know, there's gonna be some attacks that give you hyper armor, some attacks that let you don't let you take damage for whatever reason so I gotta add all this Taking the time to add it all is painful. But that's what we're here to do. Test, reiterate on designs, modify. Give ourselves all the tools that we need. 
because we certainly don't have them all yet. I think I just did that one. I did. It's kind of funny, because I really like the idea behind what I'm doing here. As in, I enjoy how the potential of it, but goodness it's taking a while. I just want a really, really solid combat system. Like, I love good combat systems, or good melee combat. I remember being particularly happy when uh, Dragon's Dogma came out, because it just looked like a really solid action RPG. And it was more hack and slash than anything else, but it was just really solid. And that made me really happy. I remember thinking, how come it's taken so long for someone to just make a solid action RPG like this, which there probably have been already. Like, I mean, you could, you know, point out, like, Diablo or something, but I don't like Diablo, because I don't like point-and-click RPGs. I think they're terrible. They're... Uh, it's... Every once in a while I get into a conversation or, you know, debate with my boyfriend where we talk about combat in video games. Like... We were talking about the changes that are coming to the Monster Hunter series with Monster Hunter World. I was saying that I was worried because they've made it so that you don't stop and do a flex every time you drink a potion. Now, if you've never played Monster Hunter, that sounds really, really weird, but, well, most people have played Dark Souls at this point, right? So it's the same thing with Dark Souls. You gotta know the timing of the enemy attack, so you gotta know their pattern and find the window in order to drink a potion, which is tr the same thing I'm trying to do in my game. And he then said, oh, well, there's another way that you could just fix that problem, which is putting it on a cooldown. And to me, that response is really weird, because it's like this weird... <laughs> it's like using a solution... That was created 20 years ago because they couldn't do real-time combat, like, in a good way, right? Like, it's just, you drink the potion, it happens automatically, and just for some arbitrary reason you can't drink another one for 10 seconds. Or something. It's just... A bit nonsensical, I guess? But a lot of video games sort of follow this trend of building on the game's previous... or uh, on building on previous games, but those games were built in a way to deal with problems that we can't simulate, or to deal with things that we can't simulate properly, or couldn't simulate properly yet, as in we can simulate them properly now. Like, even what I'm doing in this game... A defense stat that makes like a defense stat doesn't really make sense when you think about it it's like just arbitrarily this amount of damage is removed that makes no sense in reality your defense is based upon how good you are at defending what type of armor you're wearing what type of weapons are being used, and yet that's sort of still done with, like, slashing damage, blunt damage, you know, stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, if I try to stab you and you have plate mail, and I try to stab you in the chest, you're going to take zero damage. But if I try to stab you in the neck, I'm probably going to be able to stab you, because you need to be able to, you know, turn your head, so your neck's not going to be shielded quite as much. And it's not like I'm going to get 30% of damage removed and we're going to average it all out or whatever from all the armor. It, that makes no sense. Of course, like I said, I'm still 
doing that sort of thing in my game, because it's a 2D game. But it's even the same thing with, like, health. Like, what is health? Is it just the amount... Like, it's... I, I know that's supposed to be the amount of damage you can take before you either die or get knocked out or whatever in whatever game you're playing. But, in reality, it's going to be based upon hitting, like, you know, specific arteries or breaking limbs or damaging internal organs. And that's not to say that no games do this. I mean, obviously, like, a good example of games that do that is the Fallout series or the first Deus Ex game. Or, if we're going to go way down the rabbit hole, uh, Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. Well, base building mode, too, I guess. I've never played it personally, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, they they simulate each body part and the specific damage that's done to it. At least in Dwarf Fortress and, you know, other games, it's just basic limb damage. Which is fine. We don't need to get too detailed. So anyhow, the whole point of this, of what I was trying to say, is the solution of a cooldown just makes no sense. It's just this arbitrary limit that makes no sense. Whereas, having this drinking animation, where you drink the potion, and you have to stand there to, you know, ingest it a moment, is a much more logical solution. And that's not even to say that Monster Hunter World is going to be doing it bad. I don't know if it's not if whether it is or isn't going to work. You still have to do the animation. The only real difference is that you can't move as fast. Or, so you don't do the animation, but you have to... Okay, no, okay, hold on. You don't do the flex animation, so you don't get stopped. So you can still run, but you're still, you know, tilting your arm up and putting the flask to your lips and drinking. And then you have to wait for that to be over. And that's your limit on potion drinking. It makes sense. You just have to wait for it to happen. Just like drinking a drink in reality. You have to wait for the drink to be drunk. Just like that, I took a sip of my tea. It took a little bit. Anyhow, I need to continue with this. Did I finish this? I did. Okay, cool. Weird rants aside... <laughs> oh, okay, so we need to add that s stuff into the weapon. No, I... Creator ID... Dot... Disallow damage... This equals disallow damage attack state. Creator ID dot disallow dam no disallow stun. What am I doing? It's not disallow damage, it's no damage and no stun. Okay, creator ID dot no push minus equals disallow push attack state. Okay, this ensures the player will not be damaged. Ensures the player cannot be stunned. This ensures the player cannot be pushed. 
Okay. Time to search for the other spots. Also, I'm gonna need to come up with a better way to update this shit, because it's getting a bit tedious, and it's probably not the last time I'm gonna have to do this. Just checking them all. No, not one in there? Okay. Not one in there. Not one in here. State change. Doubt it's in any of the drawing. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. So we do have that one bug, though. Which I'd like to figure out. So this should work. If collision, if basically if in the water, then in water is set to true when we do this. If else, if we're not in the water, and if in water is set to true, then we set it to false and do all this stuff. ID in water equals true. If I add this, is that going to change anything? Let's find out. Okay, so the whole problem is punching into the water. Okay, it doesn't happen there. just straight up not happening anymore. Did I solve it? Just like that? Maybe I did. <laughs> hmm. I guess I did.
All I needed was to add that little bit, and that fixed it. Cool! That makes things simpler. Bonk. Meaning I can do this all day. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyhow, obviously, they're not supposed to go in the water. What if we did this? Oh. Drink a potion, eat a food, eat a little bit more food. Anyhow. So, something I might end up doing is restarting on all the enemies and creating a new test enemy. Just so I can get some stuff working correctly. Um, you know what I'm gonna make? I'm gonna do SPR test figure stun. walk animation look like? Not for that one, for this one. So the idea here... is to sort of have the... to look like they've been knocked back. Which foot is it that we're doing? We're doing the right foot being forward. Okay. Gonna move you over just a little bit. Um.
Maybe just having them flash a certain color? Nah. So it is the right foot that's forward. So big wide eyes are just taking a good hit. Okay. Uh, give me just a moment. I need to pause recording. Okay, I am back. <sighs> just gotta figure out what I even want to work on. Uh... Mm, you know what? I will do this. Gonna do... I'm just gonna call it poise, because that's the easiest way to put it for now. I don't know if I'm going to call it poison in the end, but still. Um, did I ever implement... Hold on.
just realized I don't think shields actually work for the player. You know what? Here. Let's do a shield. PR melee shield. Uh, let's just make it sixteen by sixteen. So let's say it looks something like this. Okay, we got ourselves a shield. Really basic shield. However, Sure. So the idea here is that I'm doing each sprite of the shield that'll go all the way around. And so I'm just getting the basic angles first. There we go. Here, flip. Okay, so we got the four cardinal directions. This is about to get a bit more complicated. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna cheat a little bit.
Okay, there we go. So the goal here is to get one between these two. Okay. So then I'm going to duplicate the layer and bring it to here. Pull this up to about here. There we go. Okay, I need to steal this color. Add it to you. Do that. I don't know if eight directions will be enough, but it might be fine for now. Okay. Gonna grab bread. there we go, we have a super simple animation. You can see it spinning around right there. 
let's slow that down. I am definitely not an animator. There's a there is a reason I don't do that for a living. Uh let's see. So I'm gonna go in here and get ready for this. Okay. Left trigger. Um holding left trigger. It's funny how much coding for me is just copying my previous code. How did the... How did I get this guy to do it? He just created an OBJ melee shield. So, my problem here is simply how exactly I want to do this. Do I just create an object that places control over the character? Um. Okay. 
No, I'll... Mm. Shoulder LB and and I said and where's and and dodge equals false. No. How did he do it? He just controlled the... want to do this. Because... the aim. Nope. <sighs> Fucking thing. Oh shit, it's 5.38. I didn't even realize the time. I gotta go get ready for work here in a moment. Um... Seriously though, where the hell is my targeting code? Oh, we're just right there. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Let's see if I can do this fast enough. Gamepad button check. Player number. GP shoulder LB. And shield ID is not equal to no one.
Um, 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 Now I need to get moving. Uh, I don't know if this is done for now. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter too much. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, you know what? I've been recording long enough. I'll get back to this eventually. So, I hope you have a wonderful day.